Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. I just wanted to show a quick video about how to use the Roman word bubbling tool to be effective for your students. So um, you've probably seen either on the listserv or maybe a Facebook page that you're part of um, that there is a parent of a child with CVI who has developed this Roman word bubbling tool on appspot.com and the link is there at the top of my page if you don't have it already. Roman hyphen word, word hyphen bubbling dot appspot dot com and then lots of extras there at the end. Um, and so this is something you can go into to print text and have it automatically create the color highlighting outline for when you're teaching the salient features of a word using sight word teaching for our students with CVI. So it's a very basic screen when you open it up. It's a little underwhelming like, okay, what do I do now? So here's what we figured out that you do. First of all, it is important that you do this on a computer with a web browser. I have not found that it works on the iPad or another mobile device. I'm on my MacBook um, and I'm in Chrome. Um, so know for sure that it will work that way. So I've just come into Chrome um, and you'll see that there are about four different form fields here, a couple of text boxes, and then a choice list for bubble color. So I'm gonna go ahead just in the text box and type my name, and you'll see automatically something pops up there on my screen. So now I can adjust that however I want. I think I'd like it a little bit larger, so if when I come up to the font size, I get a couple arrows. I can choose the up arrow, just keep clicking to make it larger, or even just highlight and type in a size that I think I might want. This looks nice. I can change the gap width to determine how far from the actual print the color highlighting is. So we can scoot that out just a little bit so we really just get the shape of the word without the details inside. I could change how wide my outline is. If I want that red to be larger or smaller, I could again change the arrows or once I determine um, with my ongoing assessment, what I'm going to use for a particular student, I could change that. If I go to negative numbers, it really makes it quite highlighted back behind. So hopefully I can get it, I can't get it to go up here. So I'm just gonna go back and put back in a 10. That looks nice. Um, if I wanted just the shape without the word in it, which is a strategy that Dr. Roman Lancy talks about using, you can remove the text. So you have just the shape of the word. I'm going to uncheck that so that it comes back in. Um, I can invert the text. So I have that nice black background with the white words, which is quite nice. And I can change my bubble color just by clicking the color here. Um, my preferred color is yellow. So I'm going to change back to yellow. But whatever you've assessed your student's preferred color is, you should be able to find it on your color wheel there. And then you can close the color wheel when done. So now I have my word. What do I do with it? What I found that I believe is probably simplest to do is go ahead and just do a right click and save your image. And so I can click Save Image As. It, on the Mac, it brings up my option. I'm gonna call this Anna and save it to my desktop so you can make all those changes. Save it where you want it to go. And then you can come out, maybe go to Word, open a new document. And insert in your new document. So I hope that's helpful and will work for you. If you have questions, feel free to reply back, uh, send me an email, let me know what you think. Have a great day.